Okay, I'm here at the AquaSketch booth, and uh, Mark Hagen is the, the, I guess, the inventor of this uh, new neat device. Tell us a little bit about it, Mark. I'm the president and grand group of AquaSketch. Okay. This is, uh, let's see, where do we have one here? Um, this is That's a device right. that, that combines the durability of, di of a dive sleeve with the, with the versatility of uh, paper. But in, in addition to that, it's, it's better than paper because, or it's, I'm sorry, it's better than a dive sleeve in that it has a textured surface. This uses a drafting film that was designed for architects, so it gets a very dark line because the texture holds the graphite at the surface, rather than a dive slate where people end up embedding the graphite into the plastic, and they never can get a very dark line because there's no surface to grab the graphite. So this... So you can sketch with different shapes, is what you're saying. You can... You can well, you can draw with the graph. You can write your notes with the graphite pencil. This uh -huh. is, a, by the way, a solid piece of graphite, so there's no wood. Oh, okay. It doesn't need any sharpening underwater. Oh, this sweet. This is one of these little magic erasers. As you can see, it completely erases. Right. But if I want to draw a map, I can use a sharpie. Oh, that one's still wet. Into a dry area. I can, I can use a sharpie to draw some kind of map thing. Uh huh. And then. If I want to write on top of that with the graphite, I can do that. But when I use the eraser, it, it erases the graphite easily, completely, but not the, not the ink. Now, if I, I write a note that I want to save with the graphite. This is an important note. I don't want to erase it. By the way, when you're underwater, you can even erase it with your thumb. But if you want to save it, you just scroll it. Into the, this is solid polycarbonate. Okay. Now this unit is designed not to have any electricity. There's no air pockets in it, and it doesn't need a manual. It's very simple to use. Just turn the turn and and go. Just turn it and go. It holds. It holds up to 10 feet of material. And some of the material it can hold are our fish identification right. thing. We're, we're towing. We're towing these apps. Oh, these are apps. These are apps. Non-electronic apps. Non-electronic. So you can load this with, with up to, we have 20 different apps. Okay. We have decompression schedules. We have instructor logs. We have dive, dive logs. We have grids. I see that. You name it. Here's, a, here's a, this is a uh, uh, navigation app, which tells you how to negotiate different obstacles using your compass or do a square or triangular pattern with your compass. So you can practice navigation while you're underwater. And if you're a tech diver and you've got explicit charts that you want done, you, you can make them yourself? You can make them yourself, or you can go online and you can set, upload the PDFs to us and we can print them for you. Perfect. You can create your own logs online. Oh, that's nice. So, uh, but we have a whole bunch of already pre-made, pre-printed stuff that you can order. Um, and uh, there's all sorts of possibilities for this. The back plate of this is phosphorescent, so when you put your dive light on it, it'll backlight everything at night. Oh, cool. So it makes it easy to write and also to signal to people. Um, and what else? What else? You can wear it on your wrist, so uh -huh. you can do everything with one hand. And I see it has a Velcro um, right. that you can put on the wrist. Strap. Or there's a, a lanyard attachment, so you can attach it to a lanyard. Okay, cool. And uh, that's a real neat product. It's uh, basically we feel like it's a it's a little piece of the future. Now, and once I, again, eventually it'll replace plates. And also, it'll make you a better artist. That one actually is better for art. And that's your first one. You mind showing that to this everybody is, real this quick? Is a, uh, this is where the prototype I, came from. You know, huh? Underwater photography is a big deal, right? Right. As far as I know, I'm the only person in the world that teaches classes to drawers, to artists underwater. I come with, with ten of these. It has a tray that folds up. Now, this thing underwater weighs nothing. It's neutrally buoyant. It's designed to be neutrally buoyant. It holds 30 feet of, of metal. Whoa. So, so you could just draw very quickly. So you could say that, literally, that all your paintings are current or in the current. Very good. Yeah, can I use that? Yeah, that's, you that's can. Good. Here's, well, here's uh, actually some of the work that I've done underwater. Um, if I can open this. 
Now what I do is I sketch these very quickly. As you can see, it's very quickly done on right. the water. And then when I get it to the surface, I print it on watercolor paper. I scan it, print it on watercolor paper, and then I paint on it with watercolor. You dry it first, right? I, I, I dry the vellum, yes. I hang it out, actually. They I literally are watercolors. I, uh, well, these... <laughs> water yeah, painting. The water... You know, I tried using watercolor underwater. It doesn't really work no. very well. No. No, it's not it's anyway, because you lose the light at 33 feet. When I teach the classes, <laughs> yes. When I teach the classes, I don't have anything to do. I can't be instructing my students, so I draw, I draw pictures of them. Wow. So then when I came in, this is a picture I did of somebody drawing, and then I just quickly painted it in with watercolor. Same thing that here. nice. This is uh, one of my students drawing uh -huh. and just doing quick watercolor. This is a piece that I did. Of, it's a composite of several drawings I did underwater using the crayons underwater, using cool. the aqua sketch. This is a, a parrot fish that was done in Cozumel, a presidential reef, with, right. a, with a ray, Caribbean ray. And so then, anybody that uses your product is going to be on the front cover of magazines, right? Well, they will be pioneers. Uh -huh. This is Not many people are working underwater. The problem cool. with drawing underwater is too complicated. You've got too many things to try to control. Right. This thing keeps everything simple, so you can concentrate on drawing. I want one of those, too. And, well, unfortunately, <laughs> these are prototypes. Okay. These well, I can't are wait. not prototypes. These are for sale. And I, well, these are nice, too, but I can't wait for the other one to come out as it well. Will be. We have a sign-up list for them on, on the website. Wow. So when we get a number of people, we can do a production run of these. Oh. Yeah, they cost about as much as a good French cheese. Okay. But uh, that's a whole different sideline at this point. Right. But, uh, well, thank you very much, Mark. Thank you. It's been a it's pleasure. A pleasure. And any questions, uh, you can contact me at aquasketch.com. Well,